Good morning, my hexy cans. It's seven o'clock in the morning. A little bit tired, but you know what? I'm hyped. I'm excited. Hex is going ballistic, guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Hex today, where it's going, what I think is going to happen with Pulse Chain, why I'm excited. And uh, yeah, let's just get into the charts and the content. So we're gonna start with Richard Hart's video, a little clip. Hey guys, remember all the haters? All the haters that told you that I was a scammer and Hex was a scam? I got bad news for the haters. We're making new all-time highs where everything else is getting wrecked. We have 100% uptime while everything else is hacked and down. You go to your bank, it's down. You go to Coinbase, it's down. You go to KuCoin, it's down. KuCoin's been hacked, Binance has been hacked. Uh, Quadriga CX went down, Cryptopia went down, BTC went down, Mt. Gox went down. Everything in crypto is getting wrecked all the time. But the people living in the shining city in the hill, the hexagons, we're living the dream. We're hitting new all-time highs constantly, over and over and over again. Everything's getting better and better and better in our community. While the wrecked clubs out there, they thought they were smarter. They thought they were better than you. They're not smarter than you. They're not better than you. Let's take Michael Saylor. Michael Saylor was wrong. Anyways, that's a quick clip. Uh, I do like the whole new environment Richard Hart is in front of. It, I don't know if this is in front of his kitchen or his living room, but it's well lit. The, the white lighting. I, I like it. It's a little bit lighter perspective uh, rather than his traditional room with the Louis Vuitton bags and everything. I do like that. I think it's hilarious. But I think he's trying to go to a more mainstream audience, guys. So this could be huge for us hexy cans. If you're a hexy can, now the hexy can't. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Um, I call everyone that subscribed to my uh, August University channel Augustians. So my hexacans and my Augustians get with the program. Let's get it. Now let's go into the hex chart, guys. Uh, this is the four-hour chart, okay? So we we're flipping scripts here, guys. Just just look at this. I have buy and sell signals with Lux Algo. So if you guys want to get that, I'll have a. Link down below with 20% off. I like to use it for entry points and taking profit. I'm not selling my hex. Let's be real. I'm not selling my hex. But for all my other cryptos and stocks uh, where I need to take some profits, I do like to look at Lux Algo. That being said, let's get back to it. So let's let's journey back to um, you know the April May time frame. Look at the price. Okay, look at the price. <laughs> It was at uh, 1.7 cents, okay? And then we started going, we started going bullish, all right? So we started moving upwards into the 6 cent, and then we moved back downward again, all right? And we need this forward up and down momentum to gain traction. So we are bullish, a little bit bearish here. And that's just the way the market goes, okay? Up and down, up and down. And then boom, we got to the um, we got to this uh, 8.7 cents price point and then skyrocketing up here. <laughs> we got to the uh, we got to the 17, 18 cents, all right? Almost eight, yeah, 18 cents. Took a little bit of move downward again, all right? 11 cents. And then we started going parabolic again on the 9th of August, okay? This is where we are. So in my, with my signals uh, software here, you can see a strong buy here and it continues to go, okay? It continues to go, it's continuing to move. Now, do I see this continuing to blast off? Like you can't really just go up typically when you look at the ethereum the bitcoin charts and other assets but this is an asset class of its own almost it's still a crypto but hex is really weird okay when um, bitcoin and ethereum goes down hex still goes up and when the markets are going up hex takes a little tiny bit of a dip or sometimes it goes up as well so we can't really predict what's going to happen with hex what we can take control of is what's happening in the community okay we can take control of uh, understanding what's happening with Pulse Chain, um, the ERC uh, twenty 
an Ethereum fork. So uh, your hex is going to be all your hex stakes and your hex is going to be moved over to uh, and duplicated over to the Pulse chain, which means you're going to have new hex. This is called hex only, and then this is going to the previous hex is going to be e hex. Okay, I'm not sure if that's going to change, but as of right now, that's what's happening. Now, can this just continue to rip? I do believe it can because we're extremely bullish in the cryptocurrency market right now. Uh, I think we might soon have some kind of pullback. Now, I don't want that to happen, but it would be healthy to have a little bit of a pullback. First of all, for us hexy cans to, to buy more, okay? You should be dollar cost averaging in any way, but for us to buy more, but also so that it's a little bit healthy so that we're not just going straight up and then and then having a big pull, giant pullback, right? When I have some minor pullback so that we continue the momentum of going upwards. But as of right now, we're just going crazy to the moon and I can see a dollar or even a $2 hex happening very soon. Some people say it's impossible because of the market cap, but nothing's impossible, guys. There's so much money out there to be made. And when hex is not even on any major exchanges, guys, you know, it's it's insanity. So people are learning more and more how to utilize um, DeFi and Uniswap and, and things like that, and DEXs and things like that, but it's just scratching the surface. Ethereum fees is also in the way when you're paying, um, when you're paying basically a hundred dollars for gas fees. It's just crazy, guys. It's just insane. So it's not really realistic. I've having I've been having to dollar cost average in, but waiting so that I can accumulate more funds before I do my my purchase. Just because the gas fees, if you're buying two hundred dollars and the gas fees a hundred, it doesn't make any sense. So. Um, you know, comment below if you're feeling my pain. Uh, that's why I am bullish on Pulse Chain. I am bullish actually on Solana as well. I need to pick up some Solana just because these are alternatives to Ethereum um, that will potentially moon. I have some Cardano as well. But that being said, Hex is my second biggest holding uh, other than Ethereum. And uh, hopefully, maybe eventually my Hex is going to flip my Ethereum. Uh, especially with uh, the pulse chain wave, um, I might actually have more in hex than Ethereum. So it's just the way it is. You know, I love I love all of these projects. I'm I'm just here to. This is not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. All right, guys. Now let's go into Hex Vision. So Hex Vision is a really nice tool that you, if you guys didn't already do so, uh, check out some nice data from Hex. So now here's the interesting thing okay you can actually look on hex vision and see when the stakes are expiring okay so august 31st of this year there was a giant um stake expiring and typically whenever someone uh stake is over especially a larger stake like this then there's a pullback in the market because they have the opportunity to sell right so let's go back to the hex chart um on the 31st Right, there was not a big sell up, a little bit here, uh, September 1st, right? So we went from 26 cents down to uh, 21 cents, but then it was just purchased right away. So it was purchased and then we just continued moving outwards. So it did not make a heavy, significant impact on the momentum of Hex. It just didn't. So what does this mean? For me, this means. That was the largest stake expiring, okay? So you can see these other dates here. September 30th is the next one, um, which is the third or fourth largest uh, stake expiring in the near future, okay? So you have a few of them to look out for. Um, September 30th, that's a, that's a large um, stake expiring. The one after that, you're looking at uh, October 30th, okay? then um again november and then we're kind of smooth sailing for a while until uh april right and then we're very smooth sailing until uh <laughs> 2029 guys 2029 not even 20 uh yeah so the large the large stakes are are ending here basically this year so it could be a wild ride, honestly, but I really feel people are seeing utility in this project. 
I really feel like people are going to be staking more and more, especially with everything happening with uh, eHex and regular Hex on the Pulse chain. So there's so much uh, to look forward to. And, and the best way to uh, stay up to date with this is obviously subscribe to my channel, August University here, where you can hit the like button down below if you're a Hexy can uh, and comment down below also if you're a Hexy can't. Um, but yeah, this is a great this is a great website to see. And I'm going to be dollar cost averaging in. And when I get everything mirrored, I think we're all going to be laughing, let's be honest. But anything can happen, guys. We could, but it's, you know, not financial advice. We can lose it all. Anything can happen. But I really think uh, we're going to have some kind of pullback here. And then we're going to continue moving upwards. So we can cross that dollar, that dollar, and then that $2 price point, right? It's so early, guys. It's so early. And to just you know get into this space uh for the first time if you guys are if you guys are getting into the space for the first time you need to pay attention to hex um and and fun products and projects that have utility they actually do something and have a use case uh meme coins are fun and all that stuff but this is not a moon thing this is not a, a meme coin okay guys can you speak english this morning this is not a meme coin this has utility this has a a founder that uh you know, is intelligent guy, knows what he's talking about, and he has a vision, right? And I think this Hex and Pulse Chain vision will be huge. And I think as long as you hold your bags, I think we can do really, really well. All right, what else did I want to say? Um, that's pretty much all for today, guys. Um, I think that I think that Pulse Chain... I think that pulse chain is going to be huge because it's an energy efficient, cheaper, faster, fee burning Ethereum fork. I think this is going to actually pave a way to help Ethereum as well progress and take a load off of its um, ecosystem and its blockchain. All right. Um, so, yeah, I'm still waiting to see. I'm, I'm, I have a strategy where I'm actually moving my uh, ERC 20s and my Ethereum to my MetaMask uh, uh, outside of attaining interest and so that. So that is ready to be duplicated as well for the fork. Let me know what you guys are go, uh, gonna do. Let me know what your price target is for for hex in the near future. I think this bull run we're gonna get to potentially a dollar. I just think maybe that's madness. Maybe I'm insane. Comment down below what you guys think. Um, until next time, this is David Wynn, August University. Stay a hexy can, not a hexy can't. Stay bullish and uh, hit the subscribe button. Till next time, I'll see you in the next video.